Hi everyone, it's WGM's MCI here. How you doing? Welcome back to my Let's Play of Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King. Last time around, we explored Arcadia and got a whole lot of islands. And we learned where to go. We need to go to Rhydon's Tower to collect the Cran Spinals to try and get Jessica back. Or some... F some... To hopefully try and get Jessica back, so let's do it. So this next dungeon I'm kind of dreading because it actually is very big. Very big. But we'll see how we go. There's another unique monster there which we're going to ignore. But before we go there, there are chests to get. And enemies to run away from. So we look around here. There's our first chest. Um, okay. We got a Titan belt. We head back down the way we came. I'll mostly be running away from things because Even though I need XP, I don't want to risk just uh, losing XP because of course while she's out of the party, she doesn't get the XP or any uh, anything like that, so you do have to be aware of that. Nope. Ow. No, okay. Wow. Okay, so our next chest is up this way. There it is. We get a silver tiara. Now our next chest. So actually back down this way. And this one's quite tricky to find. So just bear with me on that one. There is. We get an elf in the lick here. And that sound means that I cooked something in the alchemy pot in between episodes. We got a Ruba Serenity.
Let me just check what it is I need now. I should have done this beforehand. Okay, so I need that and the gold ring. So with that done, Okay, that's actually where you're meant to go, but we're not going to go there just yet. Because we're going to head up here first. Kai! Means we get a bottle of fresh milk from it. Wow, really? <laughs> and there's our last chest that we're going to get. We get an assassin's dagger. Anyway, I'm going in here just to rest, because I can. The only problem with this area is, like a very few other places, it does not get added to your zoom locations. You do have to be aware of that. I'm actually going to save it as well. Just in case I die. I shouldn't die, but just in case. Alright, let's keep going. Oops. 
So we just head down this way again. And head down this quite, quite long path. There's a hole in the door. So what you need to do is not go into magic, but the stone sword that we got, wherever it is, there is, you have to use it. get the map instantaneously which is pretty good because this place is big very big and of course it has some titers in it let's go in Alright, this place is very confusing. So we go straight. We'll find that this is a giant seesaw. This is the whole preface to this dungeon. So basically it takes your weight into account. And yes, even when you step off it, it goes, it resets back to where it was. So that's essentially the, the gimmick of this dungeon. Is that you have to be aware of where you are on the seesaw. But we can head up here. Oh. And now we're on the other side of it. In uh, level two. And we see a statue here. Now what would happen if I push this statue onto the seesaw? Well, as you can see, the seesaw goes down and I think it stays down permanently or, well, we'll see if I doubt what happens actually, because I actually don't remember. It's been a while since I've been in this dungeon. So we head up. Alright, cool. So now we're on level 3. Not much here. Just straight up to level 4. And again, we're going straight up to level 5. And now we see another seesaw. Let's step on it. Now if we were to run across it...
Now we're on the other side of level four. Now we head back up these stairs. And here's another statue that we're going to push onto the seesaw here. Alright, so we head down. And head back up the ladder. We head up, and now we're on to level 6. Yes, we are. Okay. Wait. Am I on the wrong side? I am. Why am I on the wrong side? Did I mess up? Yeah, I think I messed this up. I can't believe it. I've messed this up somehow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't. I haven't messed up. Because there's a statue. We fish on here. If you've never seen a, a statue go upstairs, you have now. So we need to push this onto the seesaw here. That was a bit nerve wracking, I thought I messed this up. Alright! Now we're going to climb up the ladder. There's a surprise. Making good progress, I see.
Seems that someone's here. Anyway, we need to check our map again, and now we see that there's four, four flights of stairs. And we need to... Top left, so these ones. It must be. So we head up here. Are we on level 8? We are. So there's a statue here that we need to push onto the seesaw. If I can get it. We head up. And you might think there's nothing here, but there is. We get a recovery ring. Alright, so now we need to head back down to level 7. And up the ramp straight in front of you. This one. Yes, okay. Um, we need to push this statue onto the seesaw. Onto it or off it? Oh, off. Okay. Okay, so now we head down, back down again. We head up this way, up the seesaw. Alright, so now... Okay, stop, please. Thank you. We head up this this staircase. And somewhere around here. Okay, stop, please. Uh. 
thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at level 10, so this should be correct. See a ladder here. And we're on to level eleven. It's actually here that I was looking around. Because there's our last chest of the dungeon. We get a cherry on bow. It's good if you're using bows. I'm not, but if you are. Anyway, let's talk to this old guy. What? You made it? All the way to the top lake? Eh? Ha ha ha! If it's that easy, I've got more building to do. Can't have a novice like you get into the top. You're all right, young un. I'm Rhydon. And what do you want with a sculptor like me, eh? You're looking for the crayon spinners. Ah, those old gemstones, is it? They've been out of my family for donkey's years. I've never even laid eyes on them myself. This is what I heard like. One of my ancestors put them in a... Ooh, ah... Ah, this damn bark. Always giving me trouble. Anyway, I heard one of my ancestors used them in a statue she carved. That's right. It was the pinnacle of her career, they say. Her best work. Where's the statue now? I can honestly say I don't know. You'll have to find it yourself, young'un. All I can tell you is the lady's name. If this whole block of mine isn't letting me down, her name was Alexandra. That's about it, I'm afraid. Unless there's something else I can help you with. What? My son said I should pay him a visit once in a while? <laughs> there's no time for that. If a novice like you can get to the top of my tower, I've got my hands full here. I'll just have to build it higher. The only way is up, as they say. All right, so it seems that we have another new location to go to, but it's not exactly new Because I know exactly where to go. So Alexandra, huh? I wonder if that's near Alexandria So we can zoom here because technically we're outside so we're in it. We're not in a dungeon. We're just and While I'm here, I'm actually gonna Go rest, because I can restore my HP and MP while I'm here, so I might as well do that. It's been a while since we visited Alexandra. Maybe we shouldn't stay here too long though, because to tell the people here that Jessica essentially has gone evil from the staff might not be the best way, best thing to do here. But I did put something in the alchemy pot, which I just remembered, that I think went ding while I was in the dungeon. So let's get it out. All right, ring of immunity.
folks a little insight to why alchemy pot. <laughs> but uh, let's leave here and quickly. So do you remember that statue way at the top of Alexandria Tower? That's where we're going. Luckily though, it's relatively easy to get there. Oops. I'd be very sad if I couldn't run away from these simple enemies now. <laughs> so we're back here again. We need to reach the top. I can remember how you get there. Knowing me, I've probably forgotten. Uh, I opened up the shortcut whenever I was here before. I could have went in there. That was silly of me. Hopefully I'm going the right way here. I think I am. Nope. 
It's all the way around. Damn it. That's silly off me. There we go. The statue's eyes are set with a pair of beautiful shimmering jewels. Wait. How do you take them? Oh, you have to walk. You have to walk away. Wait, brave travelers. I am Alexandra. Many years past, I lived in your world. It was my hands that sculpted this statue. Let me tell you a tale. A forgotten moment lost in the great ocean of history. The story of the bloodline of the sages. I was born into the Crambartle family. A family descended from one of the legendary seven sages. But my generation saw the legacy of the sages pass to the Albert family when I married. You see, I was the chosen heir. The blood of the sages has remained in the Albert family ever since. But that lineage was severed by a dark and evil power when the life of the latest chosen heir, Alistair, was ended. Nevertheless, I am an ancestor of the Albert family. So, I will do everything I can to help preserve the Albert family line. I want you to take the Cran Spinels from the statue. I have no doubt they will be of use to you. Now Jessica is the only one who can continue the Albert family line. I beseech you to go to her aid. With that, two, two beautiful gemstones like glittering on the floor. We get the crown spinals. Can we cast Evac? Get out of here. Now, I'm going to go zoom back to Arcadia. And we're going to get this episode right here. So next time on Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King, we'll get the Crown Spinals back to Dominico and see what lies in wait for afterwards. Because in between episodes, I'll probably end up grinding a little bit. Maybe not too much because um, I don't want to get too far away from Jessica's EXP yield. Um, but I will be getting some Alchemy Pot items off screen as well. So, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we spread fun and positivity. So, with all that being said, folks, thank you for watching and I will, of course, see you.